seven foolproof ways to start a conversation with absolutely anyone. Starting a conversation with someone, especially if you're just meeting them for the first time, is one of the hardest things to do because it's not just about talking. It's about creating a memory that they can hold on to long after the conversation has ended. Samuel Johnson, an English writer, said, The happiest conversation is that of which nothing is distinctly remembered, but a general effect of pleasing impression. How you make people feel is what matters most during a conversation. The truth is that people won't remember what you said, but they will remember how they felt in your presence. So, your focus should be the emotional state of the other person and how well you can relate on that emotional level. With that in mind, you can build any other strategy to fall in place. In this video, I'll share with you 11 foolproof ways to start a conversation with absolutely anyone. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. Ask for their opinion. We all have our respective thoughts and opinion concerning everything in life. Start by finding out what the person thinks about certain things, especially the things around instead of bringing up a topic out of the blue. For all you know, it might not be a subject that they like to talk about or be reminded of. Remember what our goal is, to make them feel good. For instance, you can ask questions like, what do you think about the food here? Or, what's your take about the view here? Or the music? And the like. Understanding how the person sees life and what they think about these various subjects will determine how willing they'll be to respond to you. 2. Use their interest. The conversation is about them, their home and other things. It's not about you. So sharing a common experience or interest will give you a headway. Once you've found out what they like, bring up a conversation in that line. You'll be surprised how delighted they'll be to talk about it. It could be talking about kids, shopping, sports, driving, reading, etc. And if you're not well informed about the subject, be honest about it and show your interest or enthusiasm to find out more about the subject. I'm pretty sure they'll be ready to fill you in and talk about their experiences as long as you're genuinely interested without coming off as a pain in the neck. 3. Offer assistance. Here's the thing. Being in a position to help someone you're dying to talk to isn't something that happens easily or all the time. So when you find the chance to do so, then by all means, go ahead. For instance, you can offer assistance such as these. Can I help you carry that large bag? Do you need a seat? There's a free one over there. Would you like a program? I happen to have an extra. That way, the person will tend to like you and trust you because you have helped them. However, in offering help, be careful not to be too intrusive. Don't jump in other people's privacy. For instance, you don't want to be that guy that eavesdrops on strangers' conversations in a bid to help. Imagine this. Hi, I couldn't help overhearing that your credit card was declined. Would you like to use mine? This might cause more harm than good because it is a little intrusive. Number 4. Bring up a shared experience. Does the listener come from a certain part of town that you have visited and enjoyed your stay? Perhaps you attended the same high school or college. Have you both worked for the same company or boss or do you both share a common likeness for a particular drink? Whatever it is that you notice about you two, Make that a good subject of discussion. Number 5. Ask for their help, advice or recommendations. For instance, say you want to get an item and you're having difficulty making a choice or a decision between two items. You can ask for their opinion or advice. They'll be more than willing to help. Perhaps when commenting on their outfit or accessories, as in, what a great tie, you can add, where did you get it? Number 6. Compliment something about their appearance that you like. If they look nice or are wearing a piece of clothing that you admire, 
then you should go ahead to give an honest compliment about it. That's a really unusual necktie. Where did you get it? That scarf is a great colour on you. While people like to be appreciated, especially for their great taste of style, don't comment on their physical appearance. For instance, having a stranger tell you that your eyes are beautiful can be creepy. So mention something cool or positive about a personal belonging of theirs, followed by a question. An example is this. Wow, that's such a beautiful wristwatch. Where did you get it? Number 7. Comment on the environment. No matter where you are, you'll always find something interesting to comment on. It could be the music, the food, the plantation, the guests or anything else. You can start a conversation using any of these. Number 8. Mention a mutual acquaintance. Perhaps you both share a mutual friend. You can mention their names. Doing this will give them a feeling of you being part of their extended social circle. That way, they'll think of you as someone they know or should know. However, be careful that their relationship with the shared acquaintance is a good one so that you don't get into their black books just being friends with someone they are currently having a legal dispute with. 9. Ask open-ended questions. If you're asking a question that can require a yes-no answer, then you can be sure that is what you will get, which is why you should ask open-ended questions or at least have several follow-up questions. However, ensure you don't become too disturbing like a three-year-old demanding to know why to every answer provided. Don't go asking why. 10. Tell a story similar to the present situation. Everyone enjoys listening to stories and more importantly, they always want to find out what happens next. You can take advantage of this by telling a story about something in the environment or something similar to what is happening around you too. However, keep it short and intriguing and, of course, interactive so that you won't end up doing all the talking. 11. Introduce yourself. Sometimes a simple introduction is all you need. As surprising as this sounds, people feel more special if you approach them with your name straightforwardly. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.